Hello Lara. Welcome to Agriculture Lesson for Grade 6. Today we are going to learn about practices in rearing small domestic animals. Lana, we are going to learn about practices in rearing small domestic animals. Lana, welcome to our lesson. Lana, now we want to identify the small domestic animals. Domestic animals are animals kept for various benefits or uses. The domestic animals include rabbits, dogs, cats, ducks, guinea pig, poultry. And a poultry include chicken, duck, turkey, geese, and pigeons. Search or finding information on, on small domestic animals. Lana, domestic animals are animals kept for particular uses and freely live at home with human beings. Different community in Kenya keep various domestic animals. Some, some domestic animals are small in size and are said to be called small domestic animals. The following are some of examples of, domestic, of small domestic animals reared by the majority community in Kenya include rabbits, dogs, cats, duck, guinea pig, poultry. And a poultry as we say in a previous, we say we chicken, duck, turkey, geese and pigeon. Some community may not, may not keep certain domestic animals due to their cultural or religious beliefs. Be cautious when visiting a farmer with a dog in the locality. Dog usually guard homesteads against the stranger. Routine practice in rearing of small domestic animals. Routine practices refer to activities carried out in taking care of domestic animals. Practices can be regularly or once in a while. Examples of routine practices in rearing small domestic animals are feeding, watering, uh, parasite control, cleaning of tools and equipment used in, the, in animal care, maintaining appropriate number of domestic animals, veterinary care and uh, cleaning animal house, cleaning animal house, NB. When rearing small domestic animals, it is important to carry out the routine practices. Feeding. Feed the rabbit with correct plants, hay, grass or commercial feeds. Feed the guinea pig or uh, feed, feed the guinea pigs with the vegetables, grass or commercial feeds. Feed the poultry with the quality poultry feeds. Give the cat and the dog the quality food with all the nutrients. Cleaning tools and equipment. Clean with the soap and water the bowls used to feed and water the cat and the dogs. Replace the sand in a litter box after the cat has used it. Regularly clean the kennel 
dog's house. Regularly clean the cage where you keep the guinea pigs. Provide a clean place for rabbits to sleep. Regularly clean the litter box where the rabbits are poo-poo. Clean the water. Clean the watering can for poultry daily as you replace the drinking water for poultry. Clean the poultry house to remove the droppings as at least once once a week. LB. Cleaning of the tools and equipment is important routine practice in rearing small domestic animals. It prevents the contamination of the animal feeds and the water and the water. This keeps the animal healthy. Maintaining appropriate number of small domestic animals. When the guinea pig, rabbit, cat, and dog give birth, their number of the, their numbers increase increases. More resources are required to take care of them. Secondly, secondly, they might be crowded in their house. To overcome the issues of overcrowding, you can sell some of your small domestic animals to uh, to earn income. You can also donate puppies and kitten to your, to your community members. The mature rabbit and the guinea pigs may also be slaughtered and eaten to reduce overclouding. Maintain the correct number of poultry for size of poultry house. Keep one male poultry bird for, uh, for every six female poultry birds. Extra male birds can be slaughtered as soon as they, they mature. You can also sell the extra poultry to maintain affordable number of poultry. Farmers should keep an appropriate number of small domestic animals in a given space. This is important routine. This is an important routine practice since it promotes good, healthy, and the proper feeding of animals. Parasite control. Regularly wash and groom cats and dogs to prevent attacks by parasites. Spray the kennel with recommended chemical to get rid of parasites such as flies. Ensure the hatches or cage are clean to prevent the attack by parasites. Regularly replace the beddings to prevent attack by fly. Uh, make sure the fur is clean and dry to prevent attack by the flies. Regularly change uh, dried grass or some uh, or sawdust in the hands uh, laying area to prevent attack by mites. Apply petroleum jelly on the affected area can kill flies around the poultry eye and, and the compass. You should apply the recommended dust, dusting powder regularly to to bro, uh, to brooding the birds and also in the poultry house. Pra uh, uh, parasite control is important. is important routine practice in rearing the small domestic animals. It enables the animals to grow healthy and is also allow, allows the small domestic animals to produce the high quality product. Veterinary care. Invite the veterinary doctor who will give the recommended drugs to small domestic animals. Give, giving such drugs to control the warming, uh, the warm, warmth is known as deworming. The veterinary doctor 
uh, should vaccine your small domestic animals. Vaccination enables your small domestic animals to fight diseases. When we provide the veterinary care to small domestic animals, we uh, demonstrate good animal welfare practices uh, expected to us. Importance of small domestic animals in Kenya. Cat and dog are kept for company or companionship. They make good pets. Dog are kept to uh, are kept to guard our homesteads. Dog are scare away uh, the wild animals that can destroy some, some of our, our small domestic animals. Cat help in chasing or uh, in scaring away the rats and the mice in the house homestead. Rabbit and the guinea pigs can also be kept as a pet or for meat. Poultry are kept uh, are kept for eggs and meat. Their waste or droppings are good for use as a manure. Still on the importance of rearing small domestic animal or the benefit, some of the benefit we are still continuing. Rabbits and poultry are important source of uh, source of food. They are nutrition and proteins. Some community keep guinea pigs for for its meat. Some small domestic animals such as dog, cat, guinea pigs are kept for pets. Domestic dogs are kept to provide security at home, detect the harmful objects or substances on airport and also and other security sensi sensitive places. Guinea pigs are also reared by research institutions for use in medical research activities. This is because their respiratory nerves, respiratory nerves and immune system have many biological similarities to those of human beings. Some small domestic animals uh, such as rabbits and poultry give a rich manure as byproduct. There are career and agricultural enterprise ventures related to small domestic animals such as veterinary medicine, animal health course, uh, factor, uh, factory manufacturing animal feeds such as chicken, mash, or uh, rabbit pellets. Safe, safe handling small domestic animals. You should, you should be calm when approaching the small domestic animals. Do not approach, uh, approach aggressive uh, small domestic animals. They might attack you as you try to, to handle them. Safely handle friendly small domestic animals. Do not attempt to handle uh, a stray dog. Uh, they can attack, attack you. How to handle small domestic animals as well? I've said that. Pick guinea pigs carefully. Place one hand around their chest area. The other hand should support the legs at the back. Always ensure that they remain upright. Hold them close to, to the ground. Guinea pigs have uh, the de delicate spines, uh, spines, hence they must be picked with a lot of care. Keep them upright with their feet facing the, the floor. Uh, keep them close to the floor to avoid injury to the spine in case uh, they get uh, flattened and they jump uh, off your hands. Hold a guinea pig close to the body uh, makes it feel secure. Dog, dogs. Handle dog gently and be friendly uh, to them. Uh, stroke their, their back or even chest. However, always remember alert, uh, remain alert for 
for any signs of aggressiveness for for the dog for uh, for your safety rabbits rabbits pick up rabbit for from the ground using one hand and to support their backs the other hand should hold their feet and and under the bell the belly under the belly are uh, the royal legs it is important to check their temperature and healthy before uh, picking them do not pick up the rabbit by by its ears this will cause a lot of uh, stress and it may it may get injury when when uh, struggling when struggling when they are not relaxed cover their eyes with with a piece of uh, clean clothes but ensure the nose the nose ring are are free are free poultry poultry pick chicken by holding their wing uh, together at their base using the other hands place the two fingers between the between the legs as you hold you can support the chicken by holding uh, it between your uh, your lip your lips your ribs and upper arm cat when uh, when picking up a cat use both hands let one hand hold hold it up uh, and the back with with the other hand supporting the chest uh, for from the front from the front let's the learners observe the following when demonstrating the safe safe handling uh, of domestic animals uh, brooding birds or birds with with your once with you once with the with the young young ones can be very aggressive and violent a lot of a lot of care should be exercised when handling them handling the small domestic animals that even even well behaved dog can be unpredictable and predictable dangerous cat can be fearful and trusting and trusting and even are uh, sometimes aggressive to the stranger and under the different environment lana we have come to the end of our lesson thank you for listening remember to subscribe uh, to my channel